Thank you, Britain. We all know the sacrifices made by first responders each and every day. As we run away from the danger, they march right toward it. And now you can show your appreciation for these brave men and women by helping their children. Let's go ahead and welcome in Sean Humphrey, who is live at the Old Central Firehouse in San Angelo and can tell us more about the efforts that are underway. Hi, Sean. Bert, hello. First of all, I've seen both of the owners today speaking to them at different times throughout Tuesday, and they agreed with you. Those first responders run right toward danger. They're the first faces people see when they're in trouble, and they wanted to do something to help their children, those dependents of first responders. So a few years ago, they started a scholarship fund for those dependents, and they had five children who uh, were able to get those scholarships last year, but this year they want to do even more. The only fire truck parked outside Old Central Firehouse Pizzeria won't be moving anytime soon, but the restaurant's owners hope to help the people who operate the ones that still do move. My husband and I, ever since we opened the business, we really want, like to give back to the community. Um, the community has been so kind and generous to us, and so we make it a point to give back. Babiush's husband is an Air Med helicopter pilot at Shannon Medical Center. A few years ago, he and Michelle started a scholarship fund for the dependents of First responders and with the early giving period for San Angelo gives beginning Tuesday, Michelle says she wants their mission to keep growing. Our first year we were able to give out one scholarship and last year we gave out five and so hopefully this year we can exceed that. 2024 is the 10th year that the San Angelo Area Foundation will host San Angelo Gives, a day where Concho Valley natives can contribute to their favorite causes. When Michelle and her husband Jody wanted to put their fund together, they reached out to a friend at the foundation. They came to us and said, we've got this idea, and we said, not only is that a great idea, we can help you carry it out. The couple's first responder scholarship fund received a $50,000 donation in 2023. Now, as the giving day approaches, Brooks says he wants members of the community to contribute to the cause of their choice, even if it's just $10. I've never met a person who uh, gives charitable dollars or has a generous heart who's sad. So uh, I, I encourage everybody to rally around that day. It's going to be really fun. May 7th, and here it comes. The early giving period for San Angelo Gives will last until May 6th. And of course, San Angelo Gives, the event itself is May 7th. And in that time, if you have a charitable cause that either you've pioneered or know someone who's pioneered, Fox West Texas is here to tell that story. So send us your story ideas on FoxWTX.com and be sure to keep up with the coverage over these next couple of weeks. And of course, we've got more news, weather and sports for you. But for right now, right here, right now, from Old Central Firehouse P Pizzeria, Sean Humphrey, Fox West Texas. Here you go, Bert. A great opportunity to say thank you. Thanks, Sean.